Hi friends. So what I have here in this session is uh, we learn how to restore a database to points to a, to a particular time. So uh, what I want to say is before we uh, see the demonstration on point in time restore, uh, I would advise that uh, for point in time restore to work, uh, your database should be in full recovery model. Uh, there are three different recovery models that is uh, full, bulk logged and simple. I would explain the differences and compare each of them in a different blog but for now in this in, in this blog uh, we should uh, keep in mind that for any point in time restore to work we should be able, uh, our database should be uh, working in, in, in the full recovery model. Uh, that means that all the transactions happening on that particular database uh, should be logged and uh, in our transactional log files. So before we start so what we do is we create a hypothetical in time database and uh, start with uh, our, our, our work so what we have is if you see we have created a new database which is in time uh, db and the database looks like this and uh, so this is the recovery model we call it for full and as I said the recovery model for this database uh, should be full for our uh, point in time restore to work so this is the complete details uh, in terms of the properties of the database uh, now what we do here is we use the database and then we start creating our, our table so I create an employee table and then insert three records to this table that is I insert three employees details the insert was done at 6.42 p.m. we note the time and then uh, what I do is I pause the read video for now because I would take a, a, a full backup of this uh, database at uh, say 6.43 right so let's take a full backup of this database so the first full backup was done at we, we will say 643 pm and we are we can see that I have taken a backup at uh, this directory this is a complete full backup of our database next what we do is we can also check the backups and the details of them uh, in our msdb uh, tables so let's try to check we can see that there is a, a full database backup that has occurred and the details of the time it has occurred at 6.43.06 and it was taken in this directory so uh, we can we can have all the details of the same so now we what we do is we insert another two records to this table and uh, the insert was done at 6.44 pm and then if we select what we see here is there are five records to this table now uh, I'll, I'll pause this video because we'll try to delete right so what we try to do here is we try to delete uh, the records from the table and the delete occurs at 6.44 6.45 p.m. so since we have deleted everything uh, the next thing that we are trying to do is we uh, try to update but we do not have any records to update so this, this is where the glitch has occurred so now what we want is we want to restore our database back to the point where uh, the deletes were not occurred the deletes did not occur I mean we, tr we, uh, we will try to restore our database to any point before 6.45 so we say we call it 6.44.59 second before the delete uh, was actually executed so we are trying to restore our database to point to a particular time so first thing to do so we need to take the transactional log backup of this database so let's try to do that first immediately once we've done we, we try to take a transactional log backup of the database and then we'll try to restore the, uh, the database two points to a particular time so to do so first of all I set this database uh, to single uh, user mode because because we are trying to cut it out from any 
external access uh, for that for the particular database so I'm setting this database to a single user mode and if you see the database has been set up to a single user mode so no other user will be able to uh, access the database for the time that I'm working on the next thing I'm going to do is I'll I'll try to restore this database from the file that is the full backup so full backup will restore my database to a point of 642 p.m. when there were three records inserted in the employees table so uh, what I do is I restore my database uh, to the full backup it's saying that we have not backed it up so let's try to trail off that right now if we try to restore the database with the full backup this will this is restored our database to 642 now what we have to do is we have to restore this database to, to a point before the, the delete happened or before the delete accidental delete occurred so we are trying we are going to restore it to 644.59 so we say 44.59 so this is where we are going to use the transactional log backup which has the transaction details uh, that happen and, and then we are when while restoring we are going to stop our restore at the point uh, of time that we have mentioned here in this restore so we are going to stop the restore at 644 59 second p.m. here so let's try to restore this database to this point we have restored it so as you can see the end time database is active and operational now and if we select this we see that mm, the record was uh, the records are there I mean before the lead actually happened so now if we try to update any uh, if there is any update we can do that easily uh, so this update would work for us so alternatively this is point in time restore this is the essence of point in time restore alternatively I'm also showing you how to restore your database from the UI so considering this database and let's try to use the UI although I would advise using the, the T-SQL because they are any day better and if more efficient and as DBS we should be working with T-SQL that is the best practice for us and uh, so I have kept my backups in the point in time folder so I say use this and restore my database overwrite we would, we would say the existing database I want to overwrite the existing database and also I don't want the act database to be active I want it to be in the recovery mode because I also want to restore the transactional log so this is first this is the first full backup that I'm going to restore onto the database so I restore with these options so I've done that so if you see the database in the, is in the restoring state next what I do is I, to rest, I try to restore the transactional log backup that I had taken so again I go to the the backup that I had taken for the transactional log and then I would use that to restore my database to particular time so I say get me all the files mate and uh, SQL folder in time right so this is the log that I have taken now here if you see I would say with recovery restore with recovery so that my database is operational the only is thing that here by default it points to the more most recent possible time I say no point me to 644 59 isn't that isn't that the time that we are we want our database restore to happen so okay restore it to this point and then get our database active we are done so we have if you see we have restored our database to this point and then if you try to fire the, the query we will see that okay 
we have all the records so this is the essence of uh, restoring I mean when your database is in full recovery model and you have uh, regular full backups and then when you want to restore your database to a particular time the only thing that you need to worry about is, is taking the transactional log backup and then restore it to the point uh, where your database transactions need to be rolled back backed up or rolled back to so so this is uh, the essence where I have explained you know the, the transactional uh, backup and also pointing it to a particular time thank you friends